Hello, I would like to demonstrate the user interface of Effect Edge. My name is Peter Schneider and I'm working at Effect. The user interface of Effect Edge consists of three major areas. Here's the head area on the top, then the left hand side is the navigation area, and in the center is then the content area which occupies roughly 80% of the real estate. Here you see currently a dashboard which is a combination of multiple different views that we are providing. On the left hand side you can see then the navigation and here are the three different view types that we are showing. One of them is the list view where you can show in table format all the issues you are managing within your solution. The next view is the calendar view which shows you the issues according to start and end date in a month view allowing you to understand issues by time. And last but not least, we have a multitude of different kind of graphs, charts and indicators that help you to indicate your performance, the statuses and the progress of issues. The user interface of Effect Edge is using a responsive UI design. We are having modern UX technologies that allow us to scale the content according to the display size automatically. So it doesn't matter whether you use a smartphone, a tablet, or a large display on the desktop, the content will always use the maximum of the real estate available. We are not using any apps or clients on the devices. Uh, we are always running on, on the latest browser technologies available. Let's take a look at how you navigate content in the Effect Edge. Content is organized according to the processes, such as incident management, or access management, or content can be also organized according to the role of a person such as service desk person. There's also two special categories of views. One of them is personal views, where views are shown and sorted that are only available to you, and then there's public views that are accessible to everybody in the organization. Data can be analyzed in the Effect Edge in three different layers, the group view, the detail view, and the relationship view. A group view is, for example, a list view, which is sorted and filtered according to pre-selected criteria. From there on you can dive in then to the detail view which shows you all the information related to that particular data card and shows you also the history who has done what with the data card. And the third layer of the, uh, we have in the user interface is something we call the visual analyzer which shows you the relationships between the different card, data cards. So here you can click in everything that is related for example to this incident and you see the related issues that have been linked to it. From here on you can dive in a little bit further into the data by just hovering over it or you can click on it and see the relationships of the related area and dive in into the data even further. Let's dive in to the three different types of views that Effect Edge offers. Starting with the list view, which is one of the most commonly used ones, showing you a list of all the data cards in a certain template. The template is selected here from settings. Here, for example, it, it's the incident template. Here you can also set whether you want to see all or also the hidden ones, and you can define also a reload mechanism. You can define also conditions. Uh, pick a certain attribute and say what value it should have, and then the list is filtered accordingly. If you want to filter according to a certain word, even in multiple attributes, you can do that with the filter mechanism in the upper right hand corner. Your personal settings for view can be then stored, creating a new view according to role or in your personal view folder. You can mark multiple data cards here and then edit, copy or move them to a different folder. You can also from here export the data into an Excel file. The columns are fully customizable, so you can drag and drop them just where you want them, where you need them. You can change the sorting order, or you can add columns by picking a new attribute to it and dragging it to the position where you want it. The second type of views are graphs, charts and indicators. Starting from a list view, you can easily, by going to these buttons here, create a 
graph simply by clicking it. Then you choose which is the grouping for the graph and you immediately have, for example, here a bar chart. You can refine the graph any further, selecting a different kind, for example, a line chart, and defining some details for it. Of course, I have a pie chart, cluster chart, and a multitude of other visualizations, such as a speedometer or an indicator, such as a traffic light that has certain limits and shows your key performance indicators accordingly. Filters and conditions uh, that have been set for list views are also applicable to these graphs and therefore you can refine your graph nicely. The third and last view type I want to display today is the calendar views. It allows you to display any kind of data according to a start date and an end date. Let's do that based on change management data, for example. Here you see in a month's view what changes are happening in the enterprise. You can move them to the next month and see that, oh, for example, on this day there's a lot of going on and we might need to think about rearranging some of these changes. The settings for the calendar is always a start day and an end day. And you can naturally change also which colors are used, like for any graphs that we have in Effect Edge. If there's too much data dis displayed, you can extend the list and from here on the single clip dive in to the data further. And finally, let's take a look at dashboards. Dashboards are a collection of views that anybody can create. Just pick a dashboard, edit it, and then you can choose which layout you want to use and how much views you want to combine within the dashboard by simply clicking the plus sign. Once you have created your layout, you can just drag and drop the existing views into the dashboard itself and all the live information will be immediately loaded in the dashboard and with a single click, you can save that dashboard and for further use. The user interface has also a lot of capabilities for power users, those that use our tool every day. And we want to make their life a bit easier. So in the profile settings, you will find a lot of means for personalization, including a compact view, which will tighten all the information that allows you to put even more information in a single display. Another interesting capability we have is then the global search that searches through all the data, even different templates and displays based on the search results, a list of such data. And the third thing I want to mention here briefly is the capability of a power button when with a single click you can create a new data card of a pre-selected and configured template allowing you to do frequent things over and over again with a single click. Last but not least, let's take a quick look at the administration UI of Effect Edge. While it would be too much to show all the details of it, in the administration UI, which is again built with responsive UI design, you can organize all the permissions and create the templates and the workflows for all the data and all the processes in a single easy to use user interface allowing you to create workflows and new templates on your own. So this wraps up my short introduction of the user interface of Effect Edge for service management. The user interface is a modern user interface with Scandinavian simplicity principles in mind. It's designed using the latest UI technologies. If you like the user interface and you want to know more about Effector, please do get in touch with us. My name is Peter Schneider and thank you for your interest.